Want to learn how to do any times table in one minute or less? Then click on the link below and master any times table you want. Now on to the video. Welcome back Intuitive Minds. Today we'll be looking at how to find the LCM of a set of two or more numbers. So let's get to it. Have you ever seen questions like this where you're asked to find the LCM of two or more numbers, for example, six and seven? How do you do that? Before we find that, we first need to break down what LCM means. LCM stands for lowest common multiple. Now let's further break down what that means because it sounds complicated, but it's really not. So multiple means any number that appears in the times table of the given number. So for instance, we're given the numbers in the question as six and seven. So the multiples of six are all the numbers that appear in the times table for six. So the multiples of six are six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, and so on. And the multiples of seven are all the numbers that appear in the times table for seven. And the multiples of seven are seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, and so on. So those are the multiples of six and seven. Lowest means the smallest and common means the same. So lowest common multiple effectively means what is the smallest number appearing in the times tables for the given numbers that is the same? Or what is the first number appearing in the times tables that is the same? And if we look carefully in both lists, we can see that 42 appears in the times table for six and seven. And therefore the LCM of six and seven equals 42. And that's how easy it is. Let's take a look at another example. Say you wanted to find the LCM of 5 and 9, right? So what you do is you list all the multiples of 5, which effectively is the times table for 5. Then you list all the multiples of 9 or the times table for 9. And you find the first number that appears in both of the lists. And in this case, 45 is the first number that appears in both lists. And therefore, the LCM of 5 and 9 is 45. Let's take a look at another example. What is the LCM of eight and 12? So what you do is you list the times table for eight and you list the times table for 12. And then you find the first number that appears in both of the lists or you find the first multiple that appears in both lists. In this case, 24 appears in both lists and therefore the LCM or the lowest common multiple for eight and 12 is 24. Notice also that 48 also appears in both lists, but that is not the lowest, that is not the smallest. So we don't regard that. Also note here that 8 and 12 are connected as they are both even numbers and they both appear in the four times table. But when numbers clearly have no correlation or connection, for example, two different prime numbers, then to find the LCM of those numbers, you simply multiply them. So for instance, if you wanted to find the LCM of 3 and 11, both are prime numbers because they can't be broken down into any other number. They cannot be divided by any other number except for themselves and 1. So if we list all the multiples of 3, and we list all the multiples of 11, we can see that the first number, the smallest number that is common to both lists is 33. But also notice that three times 11 is 33 as well. So just realize that when the numbers don't have any correlation and they're completely different, to find the LCM, we can just simply multiply them. This doesn't work for numbers that do have a correlation or connection. For example, two and four. Two multiplied by four is eight, but the LCM of two and four is four and not eight. So just bear this in mind. Have a go yourself and see if you can find the LCM of any numbers that you can choose. Let me know how well you did in the comments below. I hope you found this helpful. Smash the like button, share with anyone who you think this might benefit. Do subscribe and click the notification bell for more tips like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.